teaching your son how to shave. When it comes to adolescent rites of passage, some are more awkward and less fun than others. Thankfully, when our boys begin to mature and develop facial hair, most embrace this new milestone with enthusiasm. Your son may not ask for advice or help on shaving for the first time, but being an available resource to guide him through this new skill is very important. Teaching your son how to shave will help strengthen your bond, while at the same time promoting good hygiene and helping him feel good about himself. In this video, we'll go through a couple handy hints to help your son shave safely and effectively. If you haven't already subscribed to Sam K Parenting, please click the subscribe button below and remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new video uploads about parenting tween and teens. Now let's get straight into it. So when is the right time for boys to start shaving? There's no one right answer to this question. Every boy is different and progresses through puberty at their own pace. Generally, the beginnings of facial hair can be spotted at the start of onset of puberty, but for many, it doesn't become noticeable until their later tween years towards the end of puberty. In the early stages of puberty, boys begin to grow thin, soft, whispery hairs around their upper lip, chin, and cheeks. These barely there patches of hair feels furry compared to spiky stubble, and for this reason, it's sometimes referred to as peach fuzz. While this can be a sign that it's time to start thinking about a regular shaving routine, it's not a hard and fast rule. Facial hair grows differently for every teenage boy. For some, it might just be a little blonde fluff on the upper lip. For others, the hair may have already began to darken and thicken, causing embarrassment and self-esteem issues. Shaving before it's necessary can cause some undue health concerns, including irritated skin, shaving rash, cuts, nicks, or painful ingrown hairs. If your tween also has facial acne, especially if it's cystic and inflamed, unnecessary shaving can cause irritation, bleeding, and infection. Shaving can be a personal decision, and we recommend that your tweens first think about shaving when he has visible facial hair on his lip, chin, cheeks, or sideburns that's beginning to look unkempt. He is mature enough and feels ready to start a new routine. First time shaving tips. Step one, choose a quality razor. When it comes to shaving, you've really only got two options, bladed razors or electric razors. While it comes down to personal preference, electric razors tend to be favored for beginners as there's no risk of cuts or nicks on the face. Adding to its convenience and appeal, electric razors are portable, rechargeable, and you don't need creams or salves to prepare the face beforehand. A shave with an electric shaver is also much quicker, and for the most part can be done without a mirror. On the flip side, electric razors are a lot more expensive than their bladed counterparts, and while the shave is consistent, it's not the closest shave you can get. For that, you'll need a bladed razor. The most commonly used types are disposable twin or triple bladed plastic safety razors. Despite the word safety in the name, shaving with a bladed razor is a skill that needs to be developed over time, as the first few attempts can be a bloody nightmare. Step 2. Prepare the face. If you've chosen the electric route, we'll meet you at step 4. For everyone else looking to teach your son how to safely and effectively shave with a bladed razor, preparing the face for shaving minimizes the chance of cuts, nicks, and skin irritation. Encourage your tween to shower prior to shaving. This will soften the facial hair and help remove any dirt and oils in the skin that can cause inflammation or infection if the skin is broken. Next, choose a shaving solution that will help protect the skin while at the same time allowing the razor to glide over the skin, only cutting the unwanted hair. As we mentioned earlier, your tween may also have oily skin or acne which can be irritated by certain adult shaving foams. Shaving gel tends to be gentler than foam, it doesn't contain any dyes or alcohols so it's ideal for sensitive skin. There are alternatives such as baby oil, baby lotion, conditioner and regular soap but we prefer products that are designed purely as a shaving aid. Now for the fun part. Get your tween to apply his chosen cream, foam or gel across the areas he's going to shave, working up a thick lather. If you're both laughing by the end of this step, you're doing something right. Step 3. Perfect Technique Shaving with a bladed razor is an art form that takes years to develop, and this is an important tip to remind your tween who may feel overwhelmed or incompetent if they make a mistake. When he's just starting out, teach your son to start soft, stroking gently in the direction of the hair growth, gradually increasing his pressure until he can feel the blade gently gliding over the skin. Short, gentle strokes are effective and it takes some practice to work out the right amount of pressure to apply in your first go. 
While shaving against hair growth will lead to a closer shave, it can also be the cause of ingrown hairs, especially in tweens. Remind your son that when his facial hair becomes coarser and he's more confident with a razor, he can shave against the grain for a closer cut. Step 4. Rinse Regardless of your shaving method, cleaning yourself and your razor off is important. Teach your tween to thoroughly rinse all leftover gel or shaving foam from off their face. It will prevent newly opened pores from getting blocked with shaving product. Additionally, rinse off your bladed razors under the tap. Never tap the blades on a sink or wipe with a towel. This can damage the blades, making nicks and cuts more likely. And a full disclaimer, just in case it isn't completely obvious, we don't recommend rinsing off your electric razor under the tap. Step 5. Go easy on the aftershave. When we were growing up, Home Alone taught us all what happens when you add aftershave to freshly shaved skin. Our tweens should understand that young skin is especially sensitive to aftershaves, colognes and lotions, particularly after shaving for the first few times. If your tween wants to try such a product, try to find an aftershave that is alcohol and perfume free or made for sensitive skin. Step 6. Don't share razors. This little rule should be obvious to everyone. But just in case it isn't, teach your son that you should only use razors that are exclusively his and has not been used by anyone else. Sharing shaving blades can result in a range of health issues, including disease and infection. Your son should understand that he only needs to shave when necessary. This might be once every three days, maybe once a week. Anything more than is required will just irritate the skin. Thankfully, shaving is one puberty milestone that you can both tackle with a foamy smile on your face. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like button and share with anyone you may think can benefit from this information. Until next time, thank you for watching.